I'm Margaret Ann Windsor. In the last four years, I have put up on YouTube, uh, maybe that's three years, I'm trying to think, uh, about mind control murders that I wrote a book about in 75 till April Fool's Day of 80 when I was almost killed. And um, mind control I was writing about, uh, I had worked for doctors, and uh, the mind control was the Tesla files, I later found out. Um, you can program people to put them under mind control and program them without their knowledge. And I could go in, I've told that too on some of them, how it's done uh, to a degree. But anyway, you can create an illness or you can cure it from way back then when they stole the Tesla files in 19, about 1930. Are you going to program a person to run up and shoot with a butcher, uh, shoot with a rifle or a gun, take a butcher knife, drive their car, they can be instructed to drive their car into the river and drown, uh, appear to commit suicide like Robin Williams and a lot of others in this um, list of murders because mind control is invisible. Now I wanted to go back on this and because uh, the video goes up and I have to give too much background. Larry Flint was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia. When I was doing the book, I was living at Moonraker and had moved from Treetop where a lot of this happened, Treetop Apartments in Smyrna, Marietta. Mr. Flint later flew me out there when one of the doctors who I wrote about, Larry McDonald, U.S. congressman and doctor, his plane was shot down uh, August the 31st of 83. And Mr. Flint flew me out there, and he said in an endorsement that he later uh, did, uh, I knew who was responsible for his shooting in uh, Lawrenceville, Georgia. Now then, this is uh, later... This was in October. I was out there twice in the campaign. This is later April of 84 when this was done. Now, this is and the person that shot and killed his attorney. And there's a question if that's really Mr. Flint. Um, I've been told that, and I know for a fact that he did lie there, gunned down with a magnum person programmed to shoot him. Now I wanted to get back to when I was writing the book at Moon, uh, excuse me, before I moved to Moonraker in May, I believe, of 80, uh, I'm sorry, 78. So this was at Treetop Apartments in Smyrna, Marietta. I want to get to uh, this part. My father's Edward VIII, and there was a seal put on uh, his forced abdication. This is my dad, and I only found out in 1983 about my kidnapping and who my father and mother are and who I am. I'm Margaret Ann Windsor, and I'm Victoria the second heir, legal heir to the British Crown. My father never married Wallace Warfield Simpson. Uh, she married an imposter, a double, and they became the illegal. There's no such thing as the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. It's all a lie. Um, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe is my mom, married to my father. Uh, and sister to artist George O'Keefe, born in Madison, Wisconsin. Now, then I was born in uh, 1941, kidnapped, I'm sorry, born in 1939 and kidnapped in 41. And uh, a seal was put on my father's forced abdication, nine, nine year seal, to cover up the crimes. Uh, his own brother, George, the illegal George the Sixth, here he is with Roosevelt in 1939, planning my kidnapping. Uh, I was born in 39. They were here in 39. This I'm just going to show you part of the birth certificates I got from uh, Alabama, Montgomery. Montgomery and Lawrence County, or the Lawrence or Larry, was used in a lot of the murders. But this is the twins. They gave me, brought me to Molson, Alabama, which was really a pigsty, I've said. Uh, Carl Preston Dempsey was the twin to Peggy Ann Dempsey. They were born out of wedlock. Lina Dempsey, their mother, killed them, and uh, the family covered it up. Now then, when I tried to get birth certificates, because I was put there, my ID stolen, given the birth date um, 
of Peggy, and that's the name I still have to use. Uh, okay, in the state of Alabama, when I got them, just simply because it didn't match the date of birth of the twins, they were both dead, didn't match the date that I'd been given all my life and grew up using, which is January the 7th, 1939. So they just marked through it, which is illegal. Now then, this is going to go out, and I have to give so much background. Anyway, they're twins, both dead, and they give me her identity. And um, now, so twins is used in this a lot. The state of Alabama just said, well, the doctor confused it. So it was 1938 and 39, so let's just mark through it. Of course, it's illegal, and it was a lot. Now then, here's, uh, here's what I want to say. Uh, the mind control murders used uh, patterns because uh, it's hard to prove mind control is invisible. As in the twins, uh, Mark and Scott Kelly. Mark Kelly's married to Gabby Gifford, the U.S. Congresswoman. I ran, but uh, she was a congresswoman. I didn't get it when I was flown out at Flint. Uh, that's the Tucson, Arizona mass murders, so they can um, mass put mass armies under mind control and program them now and this was one of the Tucson, Arizona of hers. There's the James Holmes and they're treated for mental illness a lot of them which is a total lie. So you know when you can cover up to this extent I mean you better stop and think people. The Illuminati, the Kennedys, the Rothschilds, Rockefeller, my own uncle and Elizabeth has kept it up. Um, well, the, her father kidnapped me, and she's living in my homes and with my money, all right? And she gave away my country. So anyway, Gabby Gifford's married to Mark Kelly, a twin to Scott Kelly, who's up on the space um, where you go up. I, I have a thing about that. Uh, anyway, Mark and Scott are twins, Kelly. And this is my son's Mark and Scott, an old photo, and Mark's heir after me and Scott. And remember I told you, my father never married Wallace Simpson, a double did. He married Claudia Ruth O'Keefe from Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, so there's a 99-year seal. So you're talking about seals. My supposedly divorced um, had an addendum, just like my father put an addendum, which was legal to the forced abdication, and said that if he had an heir born, and this is legal, uh, that the heir would inherit. So that would bring him back while they were giving him trouble uh, trying to force him out. And um, so there's an addendum that was legal stating I was the heir if he had an heir born, and I was born in 39. Now then back to another uh, to the seal. The seal was put on my father's 99-year seal on that lie and cover-up, what was done to him. Then there was an addendum to my divorce. And then uh, there was a seal put on a suit against Dr. Victor Rudolph Gonzalez, who I understand is still in practice and should be locked up for murder and rape. And uh, he's a child psychiatrist, by the way. Uh, while they're going after, uh, uh, what's his name? Ennis, I know Ennis Cosby was killed with mind control. And that can be proven, too. But anyway, um, his father, they bring him, but not Victor Gonzalez, before court. But I want to go back to this. So they used um, Montgomery, Alabama, where the birth certificates was. They took me to Lawrence County. Now I want to get into this one before the video goes off. Back August the 16th of 77, Elvis Presley, the quote, the king, that's how he was known, was murdered. And uh, there was a uh, seal put upon how he died, uh, not open until 2027, 50 years after his death. He was a twin. The twin died. Uh, November 73, he went into the hospital. That was after my husband and I, that was during the divorce and the addendum, went to his um, last uh, show at the Omni in Atlanta. was... Sometime, it was a little a few months before because it was in the um, summer. But then I ended up in Roanoke, Virginia. Never figured I'd end up here, not really by choice. But I found out that three weeks before he was scheduled to do